Hi, I'm Rips. This is the second episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. And I've done a little tweaking from last time. Hopefully we shouldn't be seeing as many of the little slowdowns and leg spikes now. Things should be pretty much faster now. At least we let's hope so. Let's go back and play the game now. Um, where we left off, we were in a cave, I believe, and there was a skeleton, so we're gonna have to fight one of those off when we get back in there. Loading, loading. Oop, there's a skeleton. Yep, switch the sword. Come on, take this. Oh, yes. Much less leg spikes now. At least on my end we'll have to see how the video looks when we're done I'm also this time recording it in windowed mode so that it can be recorded in widescreen I unfortunately do not have a widescreen monitor yet but that doesn't mean I'm not accommodating to everyone um, is it daytime now yes we need to be getting some wood it's starting to run low we're gonna need it for all the torches and stuff we're gonna need in the future Head back over to the forest. A few more cows. I need meat. Let's see. Ah, let's get that tree right there. Probably gonna have to set up a tree farm nearby or something. Pretty soon. In order to be able to get trees easily. And maybe we should um, set up a more permanent residence. Once Mistcraft is installed in the Minecraft, I would like to um, set up my home base in a Mistcraft dimension. But for the time being, we're gonna have to suffice with this. Yeah, chop the wood. Come on, wood. This is a spruce tree, so we'll get a slightly darker wood. I think there's um, Biomexal has a bunch of other ones like there's redwood, fir. Um, autumn trees. I'm not even completely sure of all the varieties of trees. I even heard in forestry you can um, breed your own trees and I, I have no idea how to go about doing that. I don't know much about forestry. I haven't researched it enough yet. But maybe that'll be something we're going to do. First on my list of goals of um, actual Feed the Beast oriented goals is um usually when I play these games, when Tech It and my first time I play Feed the Beast, I try to set up um, get some rubber and set up a macerator and all those stuff. But this time I've been hearing about another mod called Thermal Expansion. It's pretty good stuff. Instead of using a macerator to um, grind your ores into two dusts, you can then um, use a pulverizer which does the same thing except this time it will allow you to um, basically not have to use any EU's. It's a little more complicated, it requires gold. Um, it's not sure if it's easier or harder, but the, it won't require me having to worry about too much on the energy front because I'll just have to set up a bunch of buildcraft engines and it's kind of nice because there's automatic inputs and outputs and I'll explain all of that when we start getting building that. So, uh, now that we have some wood and some saplings. Maybe we should plant some saplings near this base here. Get this tree while I'm at it. Need the wood. Now that I have some wood, I can make some more torches. And we can start exploring that cave a little bit. Get some ores. There's my base. Tell me a little torture there. Ooh, and that reminds me. I should probably. Oh, what's the. Let's add a waypoint here. <clears throat> Dirt hole. That's what it is. Now, if I travel far away, I can always come back here. Um, oh yeah, I was going to plant some of these saplings. So maybe I'll have some trees when I come back from spelunking. I won't have to go searching that forest over there. Although I should be searching some more later. Yeah, let's get some more of this coal. I'm gonna need it for torches and, uh, and fuel. So I guess our current goals in order to make a pulverizer 
We need to get copper, redstone reception coil, which is gold and redstone, and glass. We have to find some sand. Hmm, it's gonna be a hard one. Um, are there any beaches near us? Oh yeah, there's a beach right over there. We'll go grab some sand from there later, and then we can make everything we need to make a pulverizer. May probably make some steam engines first thing. Because um, we'll need the power that pulverizer. It uses build craft engines. Ah, cool. Nice. Let's pop the beef in there. I'll just put a piece of wood in there. Ooh, I should probably be making a chest to store all this stuff. Because we're going to have stuff pretty soon. And you don't want to just have it all sitting around. Get rid of those toll stools. Excess woods. Hmm, maybe we should keep a little bit of woods. I'll put the dirt. I'll put the cobble over here and keep the dirt. Don't need rotten flesh. I got better meats. And get rid of the wood sword. Maybe we'll do something later. Maybe we'll just burn it. <laughs> um, now. Oh yeah, I need to make torches. Make some more sticks. Boom. There we go. Let us go spelunking. Let's go back to that cave. Sounds like another zombie. Oh, whoa, a bunch of mobs spawn. Ooh. Oop, creeper. No. Oh, damn. My back key got stuck. Oh. This always happens. More coal. I always need coal. It's always just like... Mining is just so satisfying in, in Minecraft. It's one of my things. It's just... Every time you find ore, it's like, ooh, ore. It doesn't even matter what it is. And then you just... Ooh, bigger cave. You see an ore, and then you mine it, and that little pop sounds, just like a little squirt of dopamine in your brain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Die, die. Ah. Uh, whoa, well, that's actually a pretty expensive cave system here. And um, I'm not sure what that is. Is that the, is that the amber or something mm -hmm. else? Light this place up. Don't want any more mobs spying in here. More coal. It's actually a pretty good starting out cave. I'm kind of liking it. Kind of a little bit of everything we need. And this is appetite. Appetite is used to make um, various things for um, forestry. I think it's used to make fertilizers and catalysts and stuff like that. But right now it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good source of getting experience early on too because it's one of those types of ores that you can experience just from mining straight. So it's a pretty good, pretty good dealio. Okay, um... Can I mine this with a stone? No, obviously it's iron. Okay, we'll have to head down and start mining stuff. Oh, I'm gonna turn off the music because I'm gonna add later myself. Um... Yeah, that's copper. That's what I thought. We're gonna need copper. So, get a gag gag it. And it looks like the cave system ends here. So, maybe not as good as the cave system as I thought it was. But we can do some mining downwards. The old Minecraft tradition. Mine down. I could go looking for um, caves above, I suppose. But I'm here right now. Maybe I can get a decent mine shaft going. And what is that? Oh, is that one of those... um. That's a cave beehive, I think. Hmm. Yeah, there's extra bees in here. We get a lot of new types of bees and stuff. And I have really no idea what the advantages of them are. Maybe it just gives you more genetic variants in your bees for, for breeding. It's actually pretty sophisticated. 
I, I played a little bit when I was playing the beta pack A. I should probably um show you my um beta pack A world. I have a pretty neat miscraft world. Maybe I'll do it as my next video. Also, since this is a uh, this channel is not supposed to be just about Minecraft, although Minecraft is one of the best games you can play on Linux in my opinion. It's not the only one. And this fact now that, that Valve has released Steam for for Linux, at least it's in beta at least. There's a lot of variety of things you can play now, and hopefully a lot more in the future. Um, maybe next time I'll play um, Team Fortress 2. I, it, I've played it before, and it looks pretty good. Um, I'm always, I think it's just as good as it looks in Windows, too, so... Excellent. Oh, ooh, Beehive. I hear um, skeletons. And I am out. Let's see, gotta... Gotta make another pickaxe. I need some iron. Boy, do I need some iron. Iron would be helpful. I can make an iron pickaxe. Hmm, that's a little collection of water. Um, I don't hear that. Uh, must have been a cave system up there. I'm kind of not really hearing it anymore. But we'll focus on this for now. Get this copper. Ooh, is that one of the Thomcraft things? Yes, yes, yes. This, um, when you mine it, you get shards. And I recently just watched a video by Direwolf20, so I know a little bit about Thomcraft. It's pretty neat stuff. Um, and basically, you can, um, in the air is something called vis, um, aura, which you can use to create magic objects and stuff like that. So, and ah, I can't even begin to explain everything, is it? Because I don't even really understand all of it to myself. But I suppose we should start getting on that at some point. But right now, I, I really just need some basic materials. This is um, this is one of the ores from the Zycraft mod. It's um, Zycorium. You can use it. It's as far as I can tell, it doesn't really have any functional use. You can use it to make glowing decorative blocks called Zycor. Let's see, can I make one? No, I must need nine. We'll try out. We'll try out if we find some more. Anyway, these these glo blocks they make a re really glowing. You can see them from a long distance, even in the dark. They don't really emit light though, so they won't prevent mobs from spawning. But they are pretty pretty swanky. If you know what I mean? What's this? This is um crude oil, huh? I have no idea what to do with this. Uh, let's look it up. Crude oil. And... Okay, you use it to make a distill. And... Okay, I have no idea what to do with a distill. <laughs> I don't even know what mod that's from. I'll have to look it up. Lots of stuff to look up. There's so many mods in this. You have to be really one of those types of people that kind of likes to research a game as you play it. You know, look on the wikis, go around and talk and read the forums and stuff like that. You have to be really want to be part of a community to be a part of these kind of Minecraft mods. And trust me, there is a community. Oh, is this quartz? Yes, this is part of Thumbcraft. Um, I'm not really quite sure what the purpose is, but I'm sure I'd probably use it for some Thumbcraft stuff. And what's this? This is, um, aluminum ore. Not quite sure what to do with that. I think you, um, put that into a industrial centrifuge to make, um, um, box. Oh, no, that's bauxite. What do you do with aluminum then? Huh. I don't know. I suppose you can just make cans with it, I bet. I bet you can make, um, aluminum cans for storing stuff. And I think this is cinnabar ore, which you just get quicks over, but I probably, I can't seem to... I'd probably need an iron pick or better. More of this crude oil. I have no idea what to do with crude oil. Can I can I extract like oil from it and use it as a fuel? I don't know. If I can get a fuel from it, that'd be pretty cool. We'll have to see. Um what was I yeah, I I have enough copper. Let's make a furnace down here. I have enough fuel. Oops. 
Let's make an iron pick. We can just abandon this down here. We don't need to keep it. This is just a temporary... Yeah. Let's get a little more torches going. You never have too many torches. Oh yeah, when you hold shift, you can see these little icons above it. I think that's used for Thumbcraft for determining aspects, which is like elemental properties of every, pretty much every item in the game has an elemental property. You just, and you toss it into a Thumbcraft crucible to make Thumbcraft magical items. And really, that's about the gist of what I understand it. Um, maybe we'll get more depth into it soon, but I want to get the thermal expansion equipment going first so that we can start doubling up on our ores so that things we're not quite so scraping for ores and stuff as much would be useful and um, whoa don't don't middle click when you're in this menu it seems to freeze the game a second middle click by the way at least in my client activates the auto sort which is a very useful part of inventory tweaks so you can organize your inventory I love it so much oh so so good more Zycorium. Oh, I wonder if I can make some Zycorium blocks now so I can see what it looks like. Let's get another torch going down here. Um, I can make two of them. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, they're animated. Pretty swanky. Um, now I don't think this really has any real function, but you might be some, it might be able to make some kind of cool little setup. I'd be love to use these along with the Mistcraft portals. It'd be like some kind of weird little, and you can use, maybe you can get a bunch of colors from Zycraft. You could use it like an identifiers or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Move that torch. Right here. And get back down to mining. And what's this? Tin ore. Ah, good. The ever essential tin. Tin you use in pretty much all over the place in industrial craft. You use it to make cans, you use it to make energy cells. I heard um the, there's a current problem right now where it's actually not spying as common as it used to, so it's even more important that we get these that get this properly pulverized and we get double our output from it. Because I hear it's kind of hard to come by in this mod pack. It's supposed to be fixed in the future. But for now, we really need to make sure we have that. Although I don't plan to be working on... Well, I, I'm sure I'm going to be doing industrial craft not too long from now. But I I always do my industrial craft, so I want to explore some of the other mods that I, that I don't usually play with. That auto, that pick already. Ooh. Let's make another one. I'd use the... Iron one, but I want to kind of conserve it for, you know, important things, you know, ores that I actually want. Ooh, more iron. Yay. Need the iron. Hmm, this game is running really smooth. It's really nice. I'm kind of worried that maybe the capturing software is not working accurately, but. <laughs> I tested it earlier and it worked good and it played well, so. Some more Zycorium. Maybe I shouldn't be getting all this. Probably just going to clear up my inventory. Oh, well. Ah, uh, downward. We need to get some gold and redstone. Oh, yeah. We should have enough iron now. And, um, let's get this in bar. Yeah, it's in bar. Um, I'm not sure what to do with Quicksilver. I think you only use it in Thalmcraft. I'm probably calling everything Thalmcraft, and I have no idea. <laughs> But I really think it's Thalmcraft. I remember it was in Thalmcraft in a previous version. I I used to know a lot about Thalmcraft. I knew a lot about Thalmcraft. Well, a bit about Thalmcraft too, but apparently it's completely different now. It's They've completely redone Thalmcraft. It's, there's no more Taint as far as I saw. I think they renamed Taint something called Flux. It's not, it doesn't seem to be nearly quite as bad as Taint was. Taint was, it could really ruin your world 
when it started corrupting everything. It was really bad. Now, now you just get flux, and flux, I think, it seems to be much more manageable. At least from what I've gathered from watching some videos on it. Although there might be some effects that I didn't know about. We'll have to see. Now I know at this point I probably don't have any viewers whatsoever. But if there is someone who's watching and they want me to play a game in um... If you know of any Linux games you want to see how they look, how well they perform... Give me a, give me a, a comment. Give me a shout out. I'd like to know what I should be playing. Or if you have anything else you want me to do. I'm kind of still learning how to use editing software. So this, ooh, ooh, cave. Oop, and I hear lava. Play some torches, don't wanna. Mob's gonna get me. Now, oh, I might be wanting to gathering some of that lava at some point. Because um, lava can make a good energy source. Ooh, ooh, is this underground mineshaft? Holy shit, oh god. That's not good. Light it up. Light up the place. Here. Oh my god. That better not be, um... Um... Poisonous spiders. I do not want to deal with poisonous spiders at the moment right now. Um... Here's some... We're starting to get to that layer where we're starting to get, um... Some... Is that... Is that... That's not redstone. What is that? Was that rubies? Ooh, nice rubies. I can use that to make a better pickaxe. I think you can also use an industrial craft for something. I'm not sure. I think you. I think it's just a replacement for. Actually, no. I think you grind it down. Is what you do. You grind down rubies to make some of the Greg Tech blocks. Oh, man, we're getting a bunch of jewels here. Is this some? Um, this is probably um. Well, it used to be called emerald. What's it called now? Green sapphire. Mm, that's not original. Because you can't. Because back when I played Tech, it they had emeralds, but that was before they added trading emeralds in vanilla Minecraft. So I figured they would have to rename it. Green emeralds. I don't know. Seems a little bit lazy. I mean, are green sapphires. I mean, where are these blue sapphires? Just normal sapphire. Okay. I'm not sure. Is there any other, is there any little jewels that are green besides emeralds? I don't really know. And um, this is redstone. This is what we need. We're gonna need redstone in order to make the whatever that redstone coil thing was. What was it called? It was called a uh, redstone reception coil. I still need gold. Hmm. Need gold, sand for glass, and flint. So I'm gonna have to go start digging up some. Do I have any flint? I have one flint. So I guess I'm part way there. Um. I guess I have to keep on digging then. What is it? Is this nickelite? Yes, it's nickelite. Um, use that in red power. Use it in pretty much anything you need to use blue tricity for, which is blue tricity is the type of energy source you use in red power to power various things. Is that gold? Oh yeah, gold. And that's a white spider. I'm betting that's a texture issue. I'm gonna have to check my faithful texture pack. I'm betting that's not supposed to look that way. I'm betting it's textured wrong. But here's some gold. Woo. Oh, looks like we're starting to get everything. I also should probably check how to make a... There's a type of um thermal expansion furnace. What's it called? Powered furnace. And it uses bricks. Hmm. I'm going to have to find some clay. Well, probably when I head to the beach to get some sand, I'll look for some clay there too. That'll be fine. More. Die. More Thumbcraft ore, but I don't really want to be getting that. Quartz. 
more of the phone craft. Man, this is what going on here. I'm still in pretty good shape. I'm not really hurt or anything, so but my inventory is getting pretty full. Might want to just chuck some stuff in the lava. This is making me nervous. It's probably on this guy. Oh. Um. Hmm. Well, we got some obsidian here. Pretty next, we need to make a nether portal at some point. But I don't have a diamond pick, and I don't think the gem. Um. Pickaxe will get obsidian, so I'm really am gonna have to find diamonds at some point. But and I'm not gathering these, so I must be out of space. So just just chuck some of this crap. I don't need it. I need that redstone. Well, I'm already out over a stack, so I'm probably good for a little while now. Really hope that we're at the right layer, but we haven't found any diamonds yet. Now that we have um, some basic materials, I might set up a computer craft mining turtle, my own little personal robot, and then I can start excavating out some ores. That'll be useful. I might need some other stuff, so I'm going to start making sure I grab everything I can down here. What is this? More. Glowing. Oh, it's light zikorium. Is that light zikorium? Hmm. And my keyboard's freezing up again. Oh well. I got, I got no, it's working. I gotta look it up. I think I just need to update something in my um Minecraft jar in order to get the keyboard not freezing. Again. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh, it's one of the evil Thumbcraft zombies. Didn't drop a brain. Did it drop in? No brain. Supposedly they drop brains, which you can use to for research, I think, in Thomcraft. Thomcraft is all about the, the research, man. You sit at a desk and destroy items learning from them. I'm not sure there's really, really thing, anything super unique in Thomcraft that's useful, but it is kind of all kind of sort of cool and very stylish. I've always been sort of kind of the engineering type, but you know what? Maybe we should go for a little bit of a wizard this time. Go a little wizard crap. Man, that, that, that spider is really starting to get on my edge here. Well, I suppose we should start, start heading back up. Where did we come from? Over here? Over here. Grab that iron on the way up. So here. Um, oh yeah, I need to get some more, um, flint. Do, 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 do. Come on, get some flint. Ah, there we go, flint. Might as well just use up this. Oh. More quartz. No idea what I'm going to do with that, but... Oh, I'm destroying, destroying my stairway. I can do it. More flint. Yay, I need that flint. I think flint's needed for both um, pulverizers and macerators. I guess it sort of makes sense. It's used for the grinding component. And there we go. Now. Let's go. Back up. To the surface. To craft... A pulverizer. Hmm. What's going on here? Oh, did I do something? Did I do something wrong? Did I, I jump down and start lying down again? Ah, see me. Oh well. Maybe we'll fix it later. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. Who cares? And um, where did I leave that um? Ah, here you are. And, um, do I have room to pick up the... 
Yes. Is that quite a... I'll decorate my little dirt hole with it. Grab the... I don't have an inventory space. Hmm. Hmm. Guess we'll just leave it for now. I got a bunch more. I should make that, um... I think it's a scoop is what you make. Start getting some of those bees. Maybe I'll just leave it until I actually plan on, you know, doing some bee... bee stuff and bee breeding. Right now it's just... I can't be bothered. Back to the home base. And, um, let's put away some of this stuff. The axe, the wood. You know, everything we don't need right now to... Cr oh, yeah, we still need to go and get some stuff. Um... I guess we can keep that there. And... Shut up from now. Oh, that tree grew. But it's almost night. Oh. I guess maybe we'll save it for next episode. How about that? Maybe I'll go and do it beforehand, and then I'll I will I'll I'll go and get it, and then we'll start making. I'll start the video up, and we can all watch as I start doing some crafting. Okay, this has been Rips, and thanks for watching.